So if we're looking at a differential equation like this, where actually we've got dy by dx is equal to now a function of y, we must solve this in a different way because we can't integrate both sides. That is because we're looking at uh, an implicit equation here where if I cannot integrate y with respect to x because y is a function of x. So I can't really do it that way. And I've got to use the method of separating variables. Now, what this method entails is that you try to move all of the elements that is, has got anything to do with y over to the left-hand side of the equation and anything that has something to do with x over to the right. And this is where we treat dy by dx kind of like a fraction when really we shouldn't, but it, it does work out that way. So I'm going to get this y over to the left-hand side by dividing both sides by y. Okay, that would be my first step. And then I want to move this dx over to the right-hand side. So I multiply both sides by dx. And I'm left with 1 over y dy is equal to 2 dx. Now it is here where I'm thinking, well, this looks somewhat familiar. This almost looks like an integral. And that's what I do now. I integrate both sides of the equation. Now I have 1 over y dy. Now that integrates to log y, ln y. And the right-hand side of the equation integrates to 2x plus c. Okay. Now I want to get y equals, so I'm going to now write that as y is equal to e to the 2x plus c. Okay, so I've reverted from logarithmic notation to exponential notation here, or I've e'd both sides. Now, if I just look at the right-hand side there, I can tidy this up. Two, e to the 2x plus c is the same as e to the 2x times e to the c, because that's how indices work. Now, e to the c is just another number, it's just another constant, so I can abbreviate it by replacing e to the c with another letter, and I'm going to choose a. So y is equal to e, a e to the 2x, and that is known as the general solution to this differential equation. So this is the method of separating variables, and it first entailed us going through this two-step process so that we moved every, all the y's over to the left-hand side, all the x's over to the right, and integrated both sides. Then it's a case of rearrangement and simplification to get to the general solution that I want. Okay? And we'll be looking at more of these cases in the coming videos, but in particular going on to what's known as the particular solution.